This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity Business Podcast. We bring to you short business stories, short private equity stories, as well as interviews with business and private equity leaders, and then what we call body of life or reverent episodes about, about daily life. Here are six stories that we're following today. And, and the first prescript, before we get into the stories, is a discussion of another podcast we did uh, on Three Signs, The Apocalypse is Upon Us, Part 2. And, and here we talk about not the credit card debt it, it, it delinquencies at the worst rates since 2012, but no, we're talking about three other issues today. First is the um, the national debt hit $35 trillion. That's a lot of dollars. Our politicians seem incapable of trying to deal with this issue because it's not popular. Uh, second is the issue that job openings are falling and quits are falling. And quits means it's harder for people to quit a job because it's hard to find another job. So you're seeing quits go down, and you're seeing job openings down to about 8 million after being up to 12, 13 million a couple of years ago. Jesus, it was a much tighter job market. And third, which is alarming, is typically bad news meets good news because interest will come down, stocks will go up. But, but the stock market is so concerned right now about the slowdown in the economy together with the debt picture and, and everything else. The stock market is taking to the chin even on the cost of potential reduced interest rates uh, from Chair, Chairman Powell, Fed Chairman Powell. So here are, that's our prescript. Here are six stories we're following today. First, the, the markets in NVIDIA taking it on the chin today. The NASDAQ is down almost 2%, the S&P more than 1%. We'll see if that carries through throughout the day. Second, Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway selling down some of their B of A stock. B of A is a bellwether in America. It's one of the best run banks together, J.P. Morgan Chase, Always concerning to see one of these companies that, that Berkshire said they would never sell start to reduce some of their holdings in. Third, in a positive sign, JetBlue knocks it out of the park, and their stock is up 18% or so today. So that's good news today. We haven't seen that in a little bit, yeah, especially in the airline industry, which has been a debacle lately. Um, fourth, health system operator, community health systems trying to get rid of another billion dollars worth of hospitals. They couldn't sell their hospitals in North Carolina due to the FTC stopping them. In Pennsylvania, they're looking to sell some of their hospitals and they're looking to sell about a billion dollars of hospitals. They've worked hard to streamline their debt, streamline their operations. Kudos to, at the end of the day, to community houses for what they've done over the last few years. At the same time, they're getting some political plaque. A, a Penn senator and, and Bob Casey and a great effort at grandstanding says, sell them to good operators, sell them to trustworthy operators. I don't even know what that means exactly. We sort of know what it means, but it's sort of a ridiculous sort of grandstanding from a politician. Fifth, Procter & Gamble down another 5% today. It's almost another sign the apocalypse is on us. Procter & Gamble is one of those bellwether stocks. Their CEO is quoted saying that, you know, Americans haven't completely stopped spending, but they're getting more careful. They're getting more discerning, and we'll see how that goes. Finally, sixth, Amulet Capital Partners, another, you know, healthcare PE fund, closes on a billion two investment fund. And so that's interesting because not within all the regulatory noise about private equity and healthcare, here you have the, the folks at Amulet closing another billion two fund and, and looking to put it to work. Uh, again, uh, you, you know, Laura Dardot, Dardot covered that at Becker's Healthcare, but fascinating to watch. Those are six of the stories that we're watching today. I, I would talk about my miserable golf game, trying to golf and play tennis and sports, going to have to rent in a surgery. But it's quite frankly, it's too depressing. So we're going to stick to business and private equity today. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity Business Podcast. Thank you very, very much.